Hi folks, this is Klaus at Top Hydraulics. We'll show you today how to manually open the soft top on your 370Z, 370Z Roadster convertible. Uh, that's something that is not uh, shown in the owner's manual and it's something you have to do if you want to get access to the hydraulics in the system to diagnose the system unless you're a dealer or you have the right software to read codes. Uh, you will have to access the control module and the hydraulics that are all hidden under the storage compartment and we have separate videos that show you how to troubleshoot the top uh, basically without the uh, Nissan software just by uh, inspecting parts and uh, reading with a voltmeter um, what the various switches are saying. Anyway, um, this video shows you how to manually open the top uh, first you unlock it. There's it's locked down in two points. One is in the front at the windshield. That is easy There is a plug behind the dome light that you remove and you can stick a five millimeter Allen wrench in there to then Turn counterclockwise and unlatch the front, but with the front unlatched the um, Top will not open yet because the front or first bow and the rear or fifth bow are linked together. They can only move together just like this. Well, this one has been unlatched already and just we did that just to show you what we're we going to work on next. That is the striker on the rear bow goes in latches down in the rear bow latch and um, the only way to manually unlock this top is to remove the two bolts in the striker plates. The two bolts are inside this aluminum frame and they are surprisingly easy to access. All you need is a 10 millimeter flat wrench that um, will show you a shot from inside. Uh, obviously the rear bow is down but basically you reach behind here and get your wrench into this um, aluminum frame and unbolt these two 10 millimeter hex head bolts. Once those bolts are out, you can lift the rear bow and the front bow, and then you can um, release the tonneau cover the same way uh, as you as is described in the um, owner's manual for manually closing the top. Anyway, so let's go take a peek inside and see how those two bolts are undone. So here we are inside the 370Z in order to get access to the rear bow striker plate back here. You don't have to remove the wind deflector, you can simply access that um, striker plate from inside. Um, you have to pull back this, uh, this oops, mesh piece, pull it out of its tabs and there you see one two hex bolts that you can now get your flat wrench on your 10 millimeter um, open flat wrench and you simply have to give it a number of turns until these uh, bolts are completely loose and removed and then we can lift the rear bow up and um, next we deal with uh, the striker plate. So just to show you how to unlock the front on the 370Z top, we've already taken the plug out of the headliner trim here. We're putting in our five millimeter Allen wrench. Well, I've already partially unlocked it. We turn the wrench farther clockwise and the latches open up and you can lift this portion of the top. So here are the two bolts that we have just loosened, taken off the rear striker plate. The striker plate is uh, currently loose. Normally it would be latched down in the um, storage cover, but I'm just taking it out to show it to you one more time. Um, our next job is to uh, open the storage cover and then we make access to the uh, rear bow lock. I'll show you uh, shortly how to get this striker plate out of the rear bow lock again so that you can ultimately attach it again uh, over here. If your top is partially open, not fully latched, then you will not be able to open the trunk lid. 
uh, in order to do that get uh, the blade key out of your key fob and look at the access for the manual trunk release behind the passenger seat you turn counterclockwise to release the trunk lid and now you can pull the trunk lid up to manually open the soft top storage compartment you need to get into the trunk uh, remove the forward trim piece here it's fastened with uh, one two three four five six seven eight um, rivet style tabs these tabs we've taken seven out already and just have the eight loosely in place these tabs are rivet style where you can just um, slide a screwdriver flat screwdriver under the inner part pull it out and that releases the rest of the tab enough to completely pull it out of um, the uh, car's frame over here so now we have access to these two release cables for the forward corners of the storage car um, cover um, the cable that pulls to the right releases the left co uh, corner the cable that pulls to the left releases the right corner now this one already unlatched this one I'm actually putting a tool handle in here because these cables can be pretty rough on the uh, on your fingers you have to first pull a little bit until you feel resistance then you pull about another inch as I've just done and uh, that actually pulls the hydraulic cylinder retracts it a little bit and gets the um, linkage in the um, storage cover frame over the dead spot such that uh, the storage cover gets released so we've done that for both sides and now we can lift the storage cover up rear bow is up we make sure it doesn't just fall down on us uh, to raise the storage cover you just lift up the far corner then pull it back a little bit and lift it up all the way and there we are we have the um, storage cover open next step would be if we wanted to fully um, retract the top we would then just um, fold it back in here and close the cover again. Note that uh, you cannot latch the cover down again uh, once you've manually opened the top because there is no easy way to get the um, uh, cover to latch in the front to get this um, frame over its uh, frame linkage over its dead spot. There are ways to finagle that, but it's actually not worth it. Let's just uh, fix the top hydraulic system or find the electrical problem in here and make your top fully operational again. Just for completeness, I'll show you how to fully retract the top now. Not, as I said, not that you really need to do that. You simply let it fall down there and close the cover push the cover forward and push it down in the rear and there you have a uh, semi-operational open top uh, it just isn't uh, advisable to uh, drive the car fast when this uh, top isn't fully latched